What's up everybody? Today I've got a Garmin tutorial for you on how to fix the issue sync failed, file transfer error, not enough space. The solution to this is actually quite simple. You know, for me, um, the reason that I got this error is because I had some updates pending. There wasn't enough space in order to actually complete the updating process. So I'll put a link down below to the Garmin support website and we're gonna be following their instructions to resolve this issue. First, we're gonna go ahead and download Garmin Express. I'll put this in my blog link down below so you have everything in one, uh, one location and makes it easier to follow the instructions and just get everything that you need. So once you've installed Garmin Express, we're gonna go ahead and run the program. Then we'll click on the Get Started button, and then we'll click the Add Device button. With your device plugged into the computer, so at this point you either need to create or sign into an account. Seeing that we're having a sync issue, I would guess that you already have an account and you just need to log into it. It may ask you some other questions while you're setting up the device. Go ahead and answer those and wait for your device to be finished getting set up in Garmin Express. Once the device is all set up, um, in my case, I can easily see that I've got an upgrade available. I'm gonna go ahead and click install. It then is gonna have you read and install agreement as well as prompt you with things not to do while the device is upgrading. Make sure to pay attention to that. When you hit continue, you'll most likely get an error message that says it cannot upgrade because your device is full. Well, yeah, that's why we're here in the first place, but that's okay because we're gonna be able to resolve that in these next steps. So before we move forward from this point, we just wanna make sure that we have our oldest activity is synced on the device that is up in the Garmin cloud. You can do this by logging into the Garmin Connect website and make sure it sees some of your latest activities and then you know it's synced and if it deletes from the device, it's not gonna be a big deal because we already have it on record. If there is stuff that is not synced, then you're gonna to have to get that synced to the cloud before we can move forward. In my case, I can see that all of my activity is synced, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. So the process is gonna say it's gonna take a couple minutes to complete. For me, it took about 10, so hang in there, grab a coffee while you're waiting for it. So once it's complete, it's gonna take you back to the Garmin Express home screen, and it will no longer show that your device has an upgrade available. Finally, we'll see a message that tells us to disconnect the device from our computer and see if there are any instructions available on the watch, and if so, follow them. I was prompted by my watch to either update the watch now or tonight, and so I chose to do it now, that way I could watch the update process happen. You can select this option by using the GPS button in the top right hand corner. After a couple minutes of updating, my watch rebooted, and finally it flashed some information saying that the version has been updated. Now finally, we're gonna go into our Garmin Connect app and we're going to try to sync again and see if the issue has gone away. For me, I no longer have the not enough space issue and my problem has been solved. It really came down to Garmin Express um, clearing out the extra data it needed by deleting the old history and then being able to complete the upgrade and then finally free that space up so my device would work um, within the Garmin Connect app correctly. That was a bunch of words, but nonetheless, it's working and I'm happy. Remember to like, comment, subscribe so I know you like what I'm doing. All right, Adventure Fam, see you on the trail.